Moving now to the culture front, the movie about abortionist Kermit Gosnell will be released in theaters next week, and we have an exclusive clip. Take a look. With larger fetuses, they remain intact. Of course, because the head's bigger. Makes it more difficult. What do you do then? We use a machine to suction out the gray matter. The gray matter, the brains. So you suction out the brains, and then what happens? Then the skull collapses, and the fetus can be removed. Right. That's an exclusive look into the movie Gosnell, the trial of America's biggest serial killer, to be released in select theaters next Friday, October 12th. It's based on the trial of notorious Philadelphia abortionist Kermit Gosnell, who is serving life in prison for killing babies born alive from botched abortions, among other charges. Ann McElhaney is the producer behind Gosnell, the trial of America's biggest serial killer. Ann, welcome to the show. It's great to be here. Thanks so much for having me. Congratulations on the release of the film. It's been in the works for such a long time. How does it feel? Oh, God, we're relieved. You know, we're very relieved but and excited and scared. You know, it's important that people come to theatres on October 12th. It's really, really important. Um, the film will, will, you know, fall or rise on that weekend. If people don't turn out, it's a, it's a massive problem, so we need people to turn up. And Anne, you shared with us an exclusive clip of the film. Let's go ahead and take a look at part of it. What would you do if the baby was out and it was breathing? We would is issue comfort care. Comfort care. Can you define that for us? That's keeping the fetus warm and comfortable. Eventually it will pass. Tell us about the clip we just saw. Give us some context. So Janine Turner plays the role of the good abortionist. So, you know, in this trial, it was very important that the jury got an education. And by good abortionist, what do you mean by that? Legal. Okay. So basically, you know, so it's legal, obviously, to do abortions in this country. So the jury needed to have murder distinguished from good abortions for them. And so they had two abortion doctors take the stand. And I think this testimony is incredibly significant. You know, it's not a pro-life pro campaign. Mm -hmm. it's, it's these legal abortionists mm -hmm. telling you what an abortion looks like if it's done well. And I can tell you the jury were shocked profoundly by what was legal in this country, as, would, as will the audience be. That was transcript from the courts, that yes. scene we just saw. Yeah. It's a horrific story, what happened, a horrific trial. How was portraying that on film, was that difficult? You know, it, this was a challenge for us, that people would, you know, we could have made a horror film, and this is not a horror film. Okay. You know, the aesthetic here is very much like a Law & Order episode. Okay. You know, it's very much a trial um, and a drama, a courtroom drama. Um, we did not want, you know, the book is different. The mm -hmm. book, you know, shows, shows everything, if you like. Mm -hmm. The movie has been, we were very, very careful not to show anything. Anyone can go and see this. We think, you know, this is a PG-13, so anyone's, you know, teenage children can come. Teenagers in particular probably really should go and see yes, this film. Yes. Um, so while it's a gruesome case, it's not gruesome visually. No, absolutely not. And you've interviewed abortionist Kermit Gosnell. You've interviewed him in prison. Do you think he knows this movie is coming out? I suspect that he does. I mean, he's been a little less communicative of late. Um, mm -hmm. You know, he was writing me letters all the time. I'd be out having a walk in the park, and he would phone, constantly phone me. Um, so that, that has tapered off quite a bit of late. So I would suspect that maybe he, maybe he knows something's in the works. And Anne, this case came onto your radar as a journalist. So speaking solely as from a journalist perspective, how significant is the Gosnell trial? It's incredibly significant. It's particularly significant in the dereliction of duty mm. uh, exhibited by journalists all over this country who did not cover this trial in the way that it should have been covered. Terry Morn of ABC described Kermit Gosnell as America's biggest serial killer, and yet almost nobody in this country knows about him. And the reason nobody knows about him in this country is that people like the New York Times, like CNN, decided not to cover this trial. They covered Jody Arias' murder trial in forensic detail. We got it day by day. We got all this information information about Jodi Arias, who killed one person, obviously extremely tragic. However, at the same time, Kermit Gosnell was on trial in Philadelphia, and we heard nothing. Crickets. And you mentioned it's important for people to come up and show up at theaters for this film, for viewers at home who do want to go see Gosnell, the trial of America's biggest serial killer. How do they find out which theaters are showing it? So we'd, I'd like you to go to gosnellmovie.com, get in touch with us. We have someone who will help you also buy out theaters. This is incredibly important. I would appeal to people at, in churches, in prayer groups, in pro-life groups, in crisis pregnancy groups around the country. 
buy out a theater for the night, for the first night and for the second night that this film opens on the 12th of October, the 13th of October, the 14th of October. That first weekend is really, really significant. And we're appealing, you know, we're, the Catholic Church, you know, could do with a good news story. And this is the kind of thing that they should be championing. We're hoping that Cardinal Dolan might do something. We're hoping mm -hmm. that um, Archbishop Chaput will do something in Pennsylvania. You know, this is something where the church c should rally around and say to people, people need to see this. You know, we're going to have a change at SCOTUS. You know, there's going to be a massive change there. Mm -hmm. But hearts and minds need to be changed. And I can tell you the story of Baby Boyer's life and death, which is at the centre of this movie, will change hearts and minds in a way that nothing else can. And this is why everyone should get behind filling those theatres. Film is an incredibly powerful medium to reach people. Anne McElhaney, again, congratulations on the release of this film, producer behind Gosnell, The Trial of America's Biggest Serial Killer. Thanks so much.